What's up YouTube? Welcome back. How are you guys doing on this lovely day? If you're watching this on Monday, happy Labor Day. Also, we're at 450 subscribers. So, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Let's get to 500 before this month is over with. I think we can do it. So today we'll be talking about plateaus and how to break them. So a plateau in the fitness and weight loss community is where you haven't seen a change in your appearance or weight in a period of time. So some people think they're in a plateau when they're not losing weight as fast as they were, but it turns out you're not in a plateau, you're just losing weight a little bit slower. And that's natural when you're losing weight and you're getting closer to your goal weight because your body is adapting to your new lifestyle. That's why you should try making minor changes changes throughout your journey, that way you kind of avoid hitting a plateau. So if you're still convinced that you are in a plateau, let's talk about how to break them. Number one would be exercising. So at this point, if you're only dieting, you should really look at going to a gym and exercising. Cardio and weightlifting are a good way to burn all those excess calories. So if you're eating in a deficit and you're exercising on top of that, you have no choice but to lose weight. But if you already are exercising, try to add a little bit more to it. So if maybe if you're just doing cardio, walking on the treadmill, try jogging on the treadmill or doing the elliptical or the bike, or even try weightlifting. Weightlifting is a very good way to burn calories. And some studies have shown that high intensity weightlifting actually burns more calories than cardio. So definitely keep that in mind next time you go to the gym. And number two is to start tracking your calories. So if right now you're just kind of winging it and doing it by portion, you should really start tracking to see exactly what you're putting in your body. So say if you're eating chicken and you're putting sauce on top of that chicken, you might not think about how many calories is actually in that sauce. So a good way to avoid overeating and making sure you know what's in what you're eating is tracking. And an excellent app to keep track of what your diet is, is MyFitnessPal. And I'll leave that in the description for you to check out yourself. It's an awesome tool for losing weight, gaining weight, or just seeing what is actually in some of the foods that you eat. So yeah, definitely check that out. Links are in the description. And number three, which is probably the biggest one and the most common one, is being honest with yourself. Are you really exercising like you need to? Are you tracking those calories? When you've lost majority of the weight that you're trying to lose, a lot of us get kind of lenient about our diet. We start to have more cheat meals, we start to not really worry about what we're putting on top of our food, and we kind of just get lazy. And when that happens, you tend to plateau, and you're not actually in a plateau, you're just kind of pushing it off as, oh, well, I'm kind of stuck. But you know, <laughs> you just have to be honest with yourself. And trust me, I'm guilty of that. I've done that before. I was like, well, I've, I don't know why I'm not losing weight, but in the back of my head, I knew that I've been having some cheats here and there. Like if there was a cookie or something, I would eat it and I wouldn't really think about it. So yes, I wasn't gaining weight, but I also wasn't losing weight. So I wasn't trying as hard as I was when I first started. So just because you're not as heavy as you were does not mean that the hard work isn't still needed. You have to work just as hard on that last 10 pounds as you did on the 60 pounds that you lost. So like I said, I'm guilty of it and I've been guilty of it before. So like I said, you need to just be honest with yourself. And I know it's kind of hard to do that sometimes because you don't want to tell yourself that you slacked off lately. Nobody does. But once you come to and you realize that you have been slacking off, you can get back on track because only you know what you're doing. So so only you can hold yourself accountable. Sometimes you're your worst enemy and your worst critic, but sometimes you have to be your biggest supporter. So you need to be the one to call yourself out when you're slacking. So number one was to start exercising. Number two was to calculate your macros. And number three was to be honest with yourself. So with all that in mind, you should be able to break that plateau and get back on track to the journey that you're on. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And remember, it's all up to you. Thank you.